Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is August 8th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I'm going to talk about a predicted hard swing in the weather for Europe from a hot and dry pattern to a much stormier pattern, particularly for Western parts of Europe over the coming days. But before I do, I'd like to talk a bit about the longer term features, some of the longer term features in the climate map that are related to human caused climate change. And to note that one of the features for human caused climate change not only is extreme weather in the form of extreme heat and extreme drought, but also when the weather does change, it can tend to take a hard swing in the opposite direction. And so we also see more extreme rainfall events and the potential for more extreme rainfall events due to human caused climate change. Now, the situation in Europe has been that warmer than normal sea surface temperatures surrounding Europe and a great recession of sea ice to the north, particularly north of Svalbard, has enabled strong jet stream ridges to run up through Europe and large high pressure systems to form over Europe, which has tended to generate prevailing hot and dry conditions at least since mid-May. This persistence has led to extreme drought and extreme heat over Europe throughout these weeks and months. But another feature facing Europe and south of Greenland is a cool pool of water in the North Atlantic associated at least in part with increasing rates of Greenland melt, which is freshening surface waters in the North Atlantic and helping to develop a persistent cool pool feature here. Now this feature does enable troughs to form and if those troughs are strong enough, they can start to invade Europe. And that's exactly what we are seeing now. So the pattern that has persisted, and this is a July 26th map from the global forecast system model, which at this point is, is a historic reference showing a, a strong ridge pattern over Europe. Transitioning to today where we see a deepening trough running in toward the UK, United Kingdom, Ireland, Scotland, the coast of France and Spain. And this feature is expected to shift eastward over the coming hours and over the coming days, bringing extreme weather into Western Europe. So we've already seen some extreme thunderstorms over parts of Germany. And I just like to note as we look at extreme weather potentials for Europe, a number of these extreme events can, can likely fire off severe thunderstorms. And we're, we're probably looking at outbreaks of severe thunderstorms across sections of Western Europe to include southern England, parts of France, Germany, and running up into Sweden as air masses clash and cooler unstable air moves in. But it's also worth noting that that human-caused climate change increases the rate of lightning strikes by about 12 percent for every one degree Celsius of warming and overall the Earth has warmed by about 1 to 1.2 degrees Celsius since the start of major fossil fuel burning in the mid 19th century. Now, weather forecasts show a storm system in off of England and in through the British Isles before running into France where we see a low pressure system developing and producing very severe rainfall 
over parts of Germany, Denmark, and then running up into Scandinavia as a severe wind event begins to take hold. Now this severe weather feature is expected to bring some rather strong storms capable of producing very heavy rainfall over short periods of time. And this is something to consider as very dry lands, baked lands will tend to shed moisture and this, this would tend to enable the potential for flash flooding events. And, and as we can see here, there's a potential for one, out, one inch per hour rainfall rates or nearing one inch per hour rainfall rates or possibly more over parts of northern Germany and Denmark by tomorrow. So, so the storm could kick up not only some quite intense thunderstorms, but some very severe and potentially flooding heavy rainfall events as well. Now I'd like to show you the temperature anomaly prediction map for Europe over the next 10 days to give you an idea of the, the temperature flux that is going on. What's expected to happen is the cool air over the North Atlantic cool pool to the west is expected to run in along with the unstable air mass related to these storms and to flush the much warmer than normal temperatures on toward the east ahead of the frontal system. Now, temperature anomalies across parts of Europe are expected to range from 3 to as much as 10 degrees Celsius or more above normal in the warm zones and between 2 and 4 to possibly 5 degrees Celsius below normal in the cool zones as these fronts are predicted to sweep through. Note that the shift of heat toward the east does not alleviate heat, it just moves the heat into a new location. And so regions in Eastern Europe and particularly in Western Russia are likely to experience extreme heat over the coming days as the trough pattern emerges more persistently over Europe and a ridge pattern runs in through Russia. So a change in the weather, a hard swing in the weather, weather predicted for Europe, one that is likely to spark some very severe storms and potentially severe thunderstorms over the next 24 to 48 hours. Thank you for joining me and I'll be chatting with you soon.